Uh, Darren, uh, going to start on Efron Mason Clark. Obviously, went off with a nasty-looking injury on Saturday. Just have you got any update on him? Yeah, we um, we we felt he got a little bit of concussion through the game um, with the blow to the head, and when he came off, he was in the dugout. He'd been he'd, he'd been sick two or three times, and the routine protocol after being sick and getting some concussion is take him to A&E so we jumped on the bus after and went to the nearest hospital in Barrow and we we sat there and waited for him to be assessed to be given the all clear to, to make the journey home so you know, we spent the, spent the evening in Barrow Hospital but the most important thing was that he's okay he's got a little bit of concussion and still feeling a little bit drowsy from it um, he won't be available for selection for a couple of weeks but the most important thing that the boy's all right and he's come in today and um, he's he's okay, but there's just rules we've got to live by, so he, he won't be available. So disappointing for him because as we spoke about Saturday, he started really well and he looked uh, looked really promising. Yeah, and he was he was showing signs um, with his goal the other day that he's getting back to his, his, his very good best, um, being really effective and being a real threat to the opposition. And he'd started the game well. Um, but you know, the most important thing is his health, and as long as he spends these two weeks getting recovered, I'm sure he'll bounce back quickly. You're obviously disappointed with the players on Saturday after the game. How important is it that we dig in, dig deep, and find a way to get three points tomorrow, tomorrow Listen, evening? That's the challenge, Ad, isn't it? You know, we're at a, we're at a very low point at the minute. Um, it's my job and our job and their job to to change the mood. Lift the spirits, you know, you've got to, you've got to stand up now. I, I have to stand up, we all have to stand up and, and be counted and, and be a man. That's why I went over and addressed the fans at the end of the game, you know, they're, they're voicing their opinion, which they're entitled to. Never had a problem with that. Um, the only one that I, the only issue I had was being told I didn't care. People don't realise how much I care. Um, I badly care about this football club and I certainly care about my own career. And these boys have to start showing that themselves because like I said on Saturday and I still stand by it, I've had individual meetings with everyone today. I want a team. Um, at the minute I've got a team of individuals and if we continue being a team of individuals, then I know what all the outcome will be. So. And, until we start taking responsibility and playing as a team, things won't get any better. They're the, they're the facts of football. So tomorrow is an opportunity to go out there, stand up and be counted, represent yourself, represent the club, re represent the 10 players you've got around you and put in a performance that gives everyone a, a bit of hope that we're going to turn this round. In our last home match against Stockport, we created plenty of chances. It was just a case of didn't put the ball in the back in there. If we can replicate those kind of chances and I can be a bit more ruthless, then we've got every chance of getting three points tomorrow night. Listen, uh, you make it sound very easy, don't you? But listen, that's how it is. That's how it is. We, we were, and this is part of our problem, isn't it? The inconsistency with us. We was very good against Stockport, in my opinion, and we had plenty of opportunities that the game should have been out of sight but we didn't take them and we got punished Saturday for the first 15-20 minutes you know we probably started okay looked a little bit of a threat going forward we knew it was going to be tough but then a, a, a crappy goal from a throw in puts us on the back foot again so it's we're constantly having to try and bounce back now there's been some truth said, there's been you know, plenty of discussion, but there's been too much talking now. It's, it's time for action. And what they need to do, and we've made it very clear to them today, I've been very harsh with them today, which is out of character, um, but I've been very harsh with them today. At the end of the day, they have to start manning up a bit. And just lastly, FA Trophy draw's just been made. Weymouth at home, what's your take on that draw? I'm certainly pleased this at home, you know. Um, it'll be a tough game. They've they've obviously going well um, in the league. Uh, but what we need to do is take advantage of the uh, of the playing here at the Hive. Um, it's a competition that I want to do really well in. Obviously, the 
the big bonus at the end of getting to the stadium. You know, that's that should be motivation enough to to win. So yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to it.